Sweet, time for another spar. Like you remember last time, it's up there for the foreseeable future. Let's get this one unplasticized and laid out, ready to go. Gotta move the bike over just a little bit. Get to it. This time I'm going to take what I learned on the first spar and uh, see if I can apply it to this left spar. Um, save some time, effort, issues, etc. Sweet. Recall from <clears throat> one of the previous episodes, I used a wooden block to get the plastic off and just kind of crank, 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 crank. I think I threw that block away, or I use it, cannibalize it for another project, as oftentimes a DIYer does. <laughs> so I'm going to use extra piece of aluminum. This is actually spar cap strip. Just a extra piece that got cut off, and I don't need it anymore. So I use this to just ratchet out all the plastic. Before I go any further, I'm going to make sure to drill the hole for the long piece. So, go something like that, but on the other side, I need to drill that hole. So I want to make sure I do that before I start deburring everything, and then I don't have to go back and do it later. <laughs> forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, not a full-time job and the subscribers really help. Um, back at it, another day. Time to start deburring. Tedious task, takes a long time, breaks your back, and we're gonna use the trusty deburring tool. Now that my back feels broken, oh man, I need to even think about what I need to do next. 
Guess next up, cut these angles um, before I paint. So last time I forgot to cut the angles um, where the pieces meet. So see that little 45, 30 degree angle cut in? Um, I'm gonna do that as the next step. That way I can file it, get rid of all the sharp edges, um, and then these strips will be ready for primer. Then I'll start focusing on the rest of the pieces that I need to do on the main spar. So tomorrow, start making these cuts. I'm gonna mark them off using uh, these as a reference and one of my squares. I'm gonna use this as the reference point. So I'll just mark that down. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit. Remember last time, just clamped it to the table, use a cutoff wheel, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Those are cut. I'm gonna sand them down, make sure everything's nice and smooth, and these will be ready for paint. I don't have enough primer today, so we'll just prep everything, put them on, put them to the side, and then we'll get to uh, cutting the lightning holes. <laughs> Last step, I'm going to uh, scotch bright the whole thing. Alrighty, all scotch brighted, ready to go. Back at the hole drilling. Gotta drill those lightning holes. Ooh, it's chilly. Turn on the heater. Done. My hands are quite dirty. That's why I'm wearing this mask because it's some nasty stuff between the aluminum dust and um, whatever this is made out of, the Scotch Bright. Don't want to be breathing that constantly. So now it's time for the lightning holes again. Um, so up there, let's see. That's a four-inch hole. Five inch, five inch, five inch, five inch, five inch, four and a half. And then the rest are five inch holes as well. Got my hole saws again. I'm gonna mark the center points between ribs and center punch, then start drilling.
holes drilled and clean up the holes, but it should line up. Let's go. Nice. All the holes are in. All right, that's it for this episode. Next time I see you, I will be deburring these because these are wicked sharp right now. You can even see like the, the shiny edge it left. We will probably, oh, well, we got to cut that thing off right there to make it so that it fits the bracket. What else, what else, what else? I'll think of something. Whatever's next, you'll see it in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.